I served aboard the Richard E. Byrd. I reported aboard, I think it was January of 1975 to August of 1978 is when I got out. And I was a machinist mate. That means I worked in the engine room. And it was a, a turbine propelled ship, you know, steam turbines. You know, all the pipes were covered with lagging in that, and that, that was the asbestos. We had to tear things apart a lot as uh, asbestos would be floating around everywhere. And, and then our ship went to the shipyards in Portsmouth, Virginia, for nine months, and they tore the whole ship apart. And at that time, the stuff was floating around like snow, you know. And uh, I guess we were all were exposed pretty much to it. After I got out of the Navy, I got hired into a factory, and I was there 34 years. I, I, I ran uh, uh, Westerplex winders. We made uh, flexible tubing for the auto industry, and these machines had heat zones on them that the tube would go through to heat up, and uh, they were all lined with asbestos. Uh, they had to shut the place down for, I think it was a week or two, and had people come in in them suits and that, and... and take all the asbestos out. I got a shortness of breath, coughing. I wheeze quite a bit, and I do have chest pains. 